On this snowy day, I'm going to show you what's inside of a condenser and a dryer and how it works as part of the air conditioning system on your car. This here is the condenser on the front of the vehicle. Normally the radiator would be sitting in front of here. The refrigerant will flow through the condenser and into the dryer over here before going into the evaporator core. Now if we take a quick look at how the AC system works in the car, we've got the compressor which compresses refrigerant and then it goes over to the condenser where it turns into a liquid, it gets dried by the dryer and then it heads over to the expansion valve. From there it goes to the evaporator core and it expands turning into a gas again before heading back to the compressor to start the cycle again. The condenser's job is to turn the compressed gas that's coming from your air conditioning compressor and condense it down into a liquid by cooling it down it's an exothermic reaction so it actually pushes out heat in front of the radiator of your car and then it comes out here as a liquid before it goes into the evaporator core underneath the dashboard in your car. Now the dryer has three main functions, the first of which is to store some of that refrigerant during the low demand times of the air conditioning. The second one is of course to dry out any moisture from the refrigerant and the third one is of course to remove any dust particles or any other debris that could be inside the refrigerant that could otherwise harm other AC components. To get a closer look of what's inside of this AC condenser, I'm going to chop it open to see what's inside. Now if we take a closer look at the cross section of the condenser, you'll notice that it's very similar to a radiator, i.e. you've got these small little tubes that go down each side that are evenly spaced apart and you've got these fins in between and as the refrigerant goes by it's actually going to lose some of that heat and cool down and that will be dissipated through these fins. Now what differs from a radiator slightly is that you've got these small tiny little pinholes in between these tubes here and that's how the refrigerant passes through. Now I'm going to chop open the dryer to see what's inside. Now the AC dryer is actually a canister that's laminated on the bottom here. Now if I remove this bottom piece you'll notice that there's this straw if you look closely, that straw actually goes to the output port in the middle of the dryer here. And over here we have the inlet port. Now if you look on the inside here, there's this cheese grate kind of material and that's crimped onto the outside of this housing here. So we can't really get that part off. So I'm going to have to chop it open over here. So just as I was grinding this thing open, I noticed that there's actually desiccant beads inside of here. So you can see that it's got these small tiny little beads and that's actually there to absorb the moisture. So I'm just going to drain that out into this container here and then continue opening this up. Kind of looks like bird seed. Alright, so now that I've got all the desiccant out, I'm just going to continue and remove this canister from the straw. So now that we got this all apart, we can see just what's inside. At the top here we have this grate-like material and that's followed by this felt-like filter material. Then we have this empty space here where the desiccant used to be. Then again we have another felt like material and down at the top there we have another grate where the top of the dryer is where the refrigerant enters. So just to explain how the dryer works, we have refrigerant that enters this outside port here and that will first go through the first grate on the inside there and then it'll go through this filter like material. Now this empty space which was filled by desiccant is going to absorb some of the moisture and this felt filter also traps some dirt. Then it goes through the second felt filter and then finally the last grate over here before entering the bottom of the canister which has this empty space. So now extra refrigerant is going to stay at the bottom of this canister until it needs to be used and then we have this long straw here that's going to suck up that refrigerant from the bottom of the canister and go back into the AC system to be recycled again. So you can see just how this all works together in order to dry and filter out the refrigerant to make sure the other components in the system are well protected. And that's pretty much all the components that go into making the dryer and condenser work in the AC system of your car. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this one.